Hi guys. I came across this James Smart Anvil Vice this summer in Picton, Ontario at a semi-permanent garage sale. And the company was located in Brockville, Ontario for over a hundred years, uh, 1854 to 1967. You do the math, not me. And uh, I just had to have it. I spent a lot of time in Brockville and know the buildings where the company used to be located. Now, this spent its life on the back of a combine and it was very rusty. The gentleman was asking 40 bucks for it and I was able to talk him down to 30. The last one I seen like this was at an upscale flea market, Finnegan's market, and the guy was asking 140 bucks, so I guess I got a good deal. Now, I wanted to use evaporust, my usual de-rusting uh, chemical, but I didn't have enough to submerse it completely, so I uh, opted for electrolysis. It's not my favorite thing to use, but uh, that's all I had at the time. Now, if you've never done electrolysis, you need a few basic uh, items. You need a container to hold your water and your mixture of uh, sodium carbonate. There was about a cup of sodium carbonate in here, dissolved in here. It's basically a washing soda. Some people have claimed to use baking soda, can be used, or you make your own sodium carbonate by sticking your baking soda in an oven at 300 degrees for an hour or so and it'll convert it to sodium carbonate. You also need a source of DC current. A battery will work or even better a battery charger. Your part, okay, that's going to have a wire coming from it when you put it in the solution you attach your positive lead to that wire. That's the anode. Your negative lead goes to a piece of iron. Make sure you use iron, no, uh, no stainless steel. Stainless steel will create a nasty chemical you don't want to deal with. Your negative goes to that. Now this will be suspended in the liquid right Beside your piece you're trying to take the rust off. You can use multiple parts located around the circumference of say your bucket and it'll create a more even reaction so it won't just start here and work over here. You'll get it from all sides so it might work a little faster. Now this cannot touch this. You will be causing a short circuit and you may ruin your battery charger or blow up your battery. Also you won't get the reaction uh, you're supposed to get. So you can insulate it, put a piece of uh, plastic in between the parts if you can't get far enough away. Or if you're using rods or something similar to that, you can stick it in a, a plastic tube and drill holes in the tube so the water can flow through and the reaction can occur. That'll work too, and uh, that's pretty simple. <laughs> now, this charger for this uh, de-rusting uh, project, I had it on 10 amps. You can do 2 to 10 amps. 2 is slower. Some people say it's better, but I haven't seen a difference really. And it took about 12 hours to get uh, the rust changed into magnetite and uh, that's all there is to it. I just gotta take some steel wool to it and take the old paint off with some uh, paint remover and I should have a good little addition to my shop. Uh, if you can find one of these uh, I'd definitely pick it up. It has smooth uh, face here so you're not gonna mar any pieces you're bending there if you have a nice surface finish. And this one comes with a pipe clamp too, which is nice. So that's all there is to it. Uh, so, till next time guys, take care.